Congressman, I know that you are one of the contenders, and it is the fact that we have an all-white United States Senate, which is pretty remarkable. But there are a lot of countervailing pressures on the governor. And there are a number of candidates, some of your colleagues. Uh, uh, Jan Schakowsky is one, one possible contender. We'll also hear about Emil Jones, who is African-American and who is a longtime mentor of the president-elect. Uh, Lisa Madigan, the attorney general from the state, whose father is quite a, a competitor. And that might be one way of the governor uh, placating his political opponents. And the possibility of Tammy Duckworth, who ran for Congress and is a double amputee and an Iraq war veteran, has a compelling life story. So where do you think you place in this category? Where, how quickly do you think the governor might act? Well, these are all very capable uh, public servants. Uh, a number of other names have also been mentioned uh, for the possibility of succeeding Barack Obama uh, in the uh, Senate of the United States in, in this particular Congress. Uh, but everyone ultimately must share Barack Obama's values. He did an extraordinary thing in our state. He united the northern part of our state with the southern part of our state and represented it with great distinction. His values include fixing the economy, providing health care uh, for all Americans, making our nation more energy efficient, providing a world-class education for all Americans. And for 13 years, I've had the great privilege of championing many of those issues in the House of Representatives, and I'd be honored. But obviously, Governor Blagojevich, and it is his decision, and his decision alone, uh, will make a decision in the best interest of the state and of the nation. Well, will Governor Blagojevich, do you think that he should focus on those local Chicago and Illinois state issues, which you know, are legendary Illinois politics? Or do you think that there is a larger national uh, compelling story here? Well, I think there are a number of compelling stories that the governor will ultimately have to wrestle with. There is a larger national compelling story. There is also the local issue that affects the people of the state of Illinois, representing that state dispassionately, uh, given the enormous economic crisis that we're confronting nationally uh, in the northern and southern parts of, of our state, some of the challenges that many districts that have confronted over the last uh, dozen or so years that have fundamentally been left behind in this economy are going to confront. Governor Blagojevich is going to have to appoint someone who has a well-rounded view of the state. It's an extraordinary decision, an extraordinary opportunity, and I'm confident that he's going to make a decision in the best interest of the people of our state. Well, how, how important is it that there be an African American in the United States Senate? I don't think it's that important at all uh, that the governor uh, makes a decision based upon race. I think what is important is that he makes a decision based upon the values that represent the interests of our state and the 44th president of the United States. Barack Obama's values are very clear. He said on day one he wants to fix the economy. He wants an energy, a nation that is energy efficient. He obviously wants to provide health care and a world-class education for all. I hope Governor Blagojevich would look objectively at everyone whose names have been mentioned at their records and make a judgment.